Hi, I'm Nine Health expert, Dr. Pyle Coley. And today I'm sitting down with Dr. Katie Richardson, the pediatrician that I always call whenever I have a question about my nephew. Dr. Richardson, thank you so much for joining me today. Thank you for having me on. So Dr. Richardson, we're gonna talk about vaccinations in kids today, specifically the flu vaccine. And I wanna start by asking you the question that's on every parent's mind. Is it safe for my child to get the flu vaccine? And if so, when should the child start to get it? What age and what time of the year? There is overwhelming evidence that demonstrates that the influenza vaccine or the flu vaccine is very safe. And last year alone, there were over 170 million doses that were safely given in the United States um, in last year's flu season. So that seems like a lot of good evidence that it's very safe. We also know that vaccine safety is carefully evaluated, not only in clinical trials before these vaccines are released, but um, there's also post-marketing or post-licensing evaluation that continues through surveillance of the vaccines as they are being given to the population. So when should my child get a vaccine? At what age? And what's the best time of the year? Absolutely. So um, current recommendations would be that um, all children ages six months through the age of 18 uh, should be getting a yearly flu vaccine. Some children under the age of nine, um, especially those receiving the flu vaccine for their first time, uh, may need to have two doses spaced one month apart to help boost immunity and be more effective. If you look at the CDC recommendations, they would say the flu vaccine should be given anytime between the beginning of September and the end of October. I typically tell my patients that October 1st is a great gauge to um, a, a, a date to put on the calendar to get your flu vaccine. Um, the, the thing that we worry about if the vaccine is given too early um, is that the immunity will actually wane because this immunity in the flu vaccine does not last forever. So it may wane before the flu season is actually over. There's so many different types of vaccines out there. It's overwhelming for parents. How does a parent know which vaccine to give their child? There's also the intranasal vaccine or the flu mist. Is that recommended for children? What are your thoughts there? So that's a great question. Um, there are, I think, three different formulations that are available for kids. Um, and out of those formulations, really, there's not a lot of preference between product type or, um, you know, producer of the vaccine, company um, that makes the vaccine. The one thing that I would add, however, there has been a lot of data and research around the fact that the live attenuated intranasal vaccination, otherwise known as flu mist, may not be as effective in kids. And so um, the recommendation I think in a lot of places would be that the injection is a better way to go um, because it it delivers better immunity. It allows for the kids to produce better antibodies and protect themselves better. Now let's talk about parents of kids with food allergies. Can they safely get the flu shot if your child has, for example, an egg allergy? That's a great question as well. Um, and it used to be that we would take, I think a little more precaution in kids with food allergies. But again, um, through many, many doses given um, and a lot of data and research, what we found is that there are no special precautions that need to be taken for kids with egg allergies. Again, if you have a question about that, I would say talk to your physician, talk to your allergist, um, but the reality is most kids, even with an egg allergy, do absolutely fine getting the flu vaccine. And before I let you go, I wanna ask you about the rising number of COVID-19 cases that we're seeing in kids. And they're really rising at an alarming rate. So what can parents do to reduce the risk of COVID-19 in their children? You know, I think the recommendations for kids are not much different than the recommendations for the rest of us. 
It's about really good hand washing. It's about wearing masks. And in kids, um, masks should be worn over the age of two. They're not recommended under the age of two for concerns for suffocation. Um, and then the social distancing is the third thing. So really good hand washing, mask wearing, and social distancing, I think are the key things really to prevent the transmission of COVID-19. But that would similarly be, similarly be the case for influenza. Makes it even more important for us all to get protected with our flu vaccine. Hopefully, again, to keep everyone protected as much as we can until we have a vaccine for COVID-19, which, you know, you've probably talked about that on your show as well, but doesn't look like that will be till the end of the year or beginning of 2021. Great advice. Dr. Richardson, I want to thank you so much for joining us today and sharing your insights. Absolutely. Dr. Coley, thanks for having me.